New at five and historic first for a company founded right here in the Bay Area. Today it was cleared for a commercial moon mission. KPIX five reporter Kit Doe on how this ushers in a whole new space race. Thing you're a go for landing over. NASA made it a point to tell Moon Express Incorporated they just want approval for flights to the moon on what else? The 47th anniversary, the first moon landing. The Eagle has landed. Co-founder Navelle Jane joined us via FaceTime from New York. NASA and everyone wanted that to be the moment to give us that approval because they symbolically are passing the baton from a public enterprise and the government to a, you know to entrepreneurs and a private enterprise. <laughs> The feds have granted Moon Express exclusive rights to leave Earth's orbit for commercial missions to the moon. The key? The government saying Moon Express could keep whatever it finds. For now, the immediate goal is to finish testing, get to the surface by 2017, move around and work out the kinks. To rephrase John F. Kennedy, we chose to go to the moon not because it's easy, because it's a good business. Which brings us to their ultimate goal, mine for precious resources like platinum, water, and helium-3. Helium-3 is a rare isotope that's been accumulating on the moon and can be used in nuclear fusion to generate power on Earth. It's a clean energy source, and a small quantity can uh, you know, essentially uh, fuel this planet for many, many generations. By the way, in a separate contest called the Google Lunar X Prize, whoever gets to the moon first and successfully drives a rover 500 meters and beams back HD video and photos wins 20 million dollars from Google. We are also going to win the Google Lunar Prize and as I just said it's, it's icing on the cake but who doesn't love icing? If you tell someone what you're doing and they don't think it's crazy then you're not thinking big enough. Kit Doe, KPIX5.